Hello and welcome to your gardening week. Well, the cold weather seems to have gone for now, much of the snow has melted, but the forecasters are still saying that we're going to get another cold blast around about Easter time. That remains to be seen, but I have got to get on with my pruning, so I'm not very proud of my garden at the moment because I'm wielding the secateurs and I'm cutting back my roses and many of the summer flowering shrubs and lots of the ornamental plants. I'm not touching the spring flowering shrubs at the moment because though most of those have yet to flower, but I am getting on with all that pruning of the material that needs to put growth on before it flowers later in the year. So I've attacked the roses with a vengeance and I'm gonna show you my first job which is going through pruning a bush rose. So I've cut the older stems from the centre of this rose really to open it up because that's one of the benefits of rose pruning. You can affect the pests and disease management on the plants and cut down drastically on any use of chemicals in your garden if you open up the centre to allow air to circulate through the middle of the bush. So what I've also done is prune out some of the twiggier branches which aren't going to produce very strong buds and then concentrate on the remaining strong stems and cut back to around about two or three buds from the base of that growth. It looks a bit drastic but all that hard cutting will encourage just a few of the strongest shoots to be made and they'll carry plenty of flower by the time we get to about June July time. I also want to remind you of some of the pruning that I've already suggested so far this year and if you haven't got on with that because of the cold weather then now really is about your last chance to do it. The first thing was cutting back black currants, opening up the centre of the black currant bush exactly the same as you would do with the rose but taking out some of the older shoots and then leaving the younger shoots around the edge those are the ones that will flower and carry the fruit for later this year. But by far and away the most important job is to cut back hard things like buddleia and other summer flowering shrubs because if you don't they'll get very very woody and leggy. And also it's time to cut back the coloured stemmed cornus and dogwoods that have given you so much pleasure through the winter. Now is the time when you have to steel yourself, but cutting them hard back, as low as you can go, almost down to ground level if possible, will encourage strong new growth from low down, and that will show the strongest coloration along its entire length come this time next year. So that's the pruning I'll be getting on with in my garden this week. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel while you're here so you don't miss out on any of my hints and tips over the coming weeks and months. And if you need any more advice, check out my website, davidhurrian.com. In the meantime, look at that weather forecast and see what happens with this cold snap that we might be having over Easter.